Today, we'll be working through a heat transfer example for external convection. This is the first worked example for external convection. In this case, we have external flow, a 60 degree engine oil flow, moving over a five meter long plate. The temperature of the plate is 20 degrees Celsius and the engine oil flows with a velocity of two meters per second. We're asked to find the rate of heat transfer per width of the plate. If we were drawing a sketch of the problem, it would look like this. We have flow moving over the plate. We have a thermal boundary layer. We know the temperature and the velocity of the flow moving over the plate. We also know the length of the plate and we know the temperature of the surface. We're asked to find the heat transfer per unit width of the whole plate. When we think about assumptions for this problem, the first and maybe the most important assumption is that the plate is isothermal or that it has a constant temperature of 20 degrees Celsius. It's probably not strictly true that the temperature is equal everywhere on the plate, but if we're choosing between constant temperature and constant heat flux, this is much closer to the constant temperature situation. We'll also assume that fluid and material properties are constant in the problem. And we'll assume that convection heat transfer is much greater than radiation heat transfer from the surface. That way, the convection heat transfer that we calculate is assumed to be approximately the entire heat transfer either to or away from the plate. We have a general process for doing these convection flow problems. First, we want to understand the geometry and boundary conditions on the plate. We want to calculate relevant fluid properties at an appropriate temperature. We want to calculate the Reynolds number, then choose the appropriate correlation to find the convection coefficient, and then we can find H and solve the problem. First, we want to understand the geometry and boundary conditions. In this case, we have an external flow. So we have flow over a flat plate. We also have a plate that we're assuming is isothermal. What that means is that we can use our Nusselt number correlations for isothermal plates. Unfortunately, we have four choices here. So we can have a local or average heat transfer coefficient or Nusselt number in the laminar, laminar regime, or we can have local and average parameters for a turbulent flow. We're not sure which equation to pick yet. In order to figure out which equation to pick, the next thing we need to do is find relevant properties at an appropriate temperature. The temperature that we use is the average film temperature, or the average temperature between the plate and the surface. In this case, that information is known, and we can see that the average temperature is 40 degrees Celsius. If we convert to Kelvin, that's 313 degrees Kelvin. Then I can go to table 8.5 in the textbook. I see that 313 is between 310 and 320. I can do some linear interpolation to find the viscosity, the thermal conductivity, and the Prandtl number for the problem. Now I want to be able to calculate my Reynolds number to figure out if the problem is laminar or turbulent. First, I'm going to calculate the Reynolds number at the end of the plate. If it turns out to be laminar at the end of the plate, I know that the flow hasn't transitioned to turbulence yet. I have an equation for Reynolds number, and because this is an average Reynolds number, or I'm, I, because I'm calculating the Reynolds number at the end of the plate, the characteristic dimension that I use here is L, or the full length of the plate. All this information is known. I can plug it into my calculator and find a Reynolds number. But before I do that, I want to make sure that all my units cancel. I know that the Reynolds number is a dimensionless property. And here, all of my units drop out. 
So I can plug some numbers into my calculator and I find that the Reynolds number is 40,000. 40,000 is less than 500,000. So I know that my flow is laminar for the entire plate. The next thing on my list of things to do is to choose an appropriate convection correlation. So I know that the flow is always laminar. So I'm not going to pick a local turbulent coefficient or, a lam or an average turbulent correlation. I'm also not going to pick the local equation for laminar flow. So because we're talking about heat transfer from the entire plate and not heat transfer at a specific position, what I want is the average Nusselt number in the laminar regime for a plate that's isothermal. And that's this equation here that's boxed in blue. Now I'm ready to solve the problem. I have a Nusselt number correlation. I know the Reynolds number and the Prandtl number, so I can plug those into my equation. When I do that, I see that the Nusselt number is 1,912. Remember that the Nusselt number is like a dimensionless heat transfer coefficient. So not only do I have a correlation for a Nusselt number, but I have a definition for a Nusselt number too. And if I rearrange that, I can get an equation for the heat transfer coefficient. In this case, the average heat transfer coefficient on the plate. All of this information is known, so I can put it into my calculator and I find that the heat transfer coefficient is just above 55 watts per meter squared Kelvin. But the problem asks me to find the heat transfer per unit width on the plate. So to do this, I know that Q prime is equal to Q divided by W. I know that Q is HA times delta T. And I know that the area is the length times the width. When I sub that into my equation, I see that the widths in the equation cancel out. And I'm left with H times L times delta T. I know that H is 55 watts per meter squared Kelvin. And I know that the length of the plate is five meters and that delta T is 40 degrees. When I plug all that into my calculator, I find that the heat transfer per unit width into the plate is 11,000 watts per meter. I know that heat is entering the plate because the engine oil is hotter than the oil. Thanks for going through this worked problem for heat transfer. I'll see you again next time.